Hey friends, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty. We're going to do a quick Aldi haul. And if you can buy those maple leaf cream cookies. If you have an Aldi near you, run out as fast as you can and go get a box or two or three. We're going to leave one box upstairs and put two in our pantry so that in November, when they don't have them anymore, that's the thing about Aldi's. They don't always have the same thing. But I think these only come out in the fall. And if you don't, if you've never tried them, they're delicious. So, to be honest, I mean, they're not crazy calories here. One cookie is 110. Yep, that's, you know, but it's a special treat. Total carb is 16 with 9 grams of sugar. Includes 9 grams of added sugar. I mean, I guess it could be worse, right? But in moderation, right? That's what you got to do, folks, in moderation. So, maple leaf cream cookies, we got three. Again, we are just going to keep one upstairs, two downstairs. And then really just watch how many we eat. I could eat a whole box in one day. I don't want to do that. My belly would hurt. Um, every time I go to Aldi's, I just try to get black beans. I saw a recipe that Mandy in the making made um, this morning with black beans, corn over chicken, and then some feta cheese. So I think that's going to be on the menu this week. I got a can of coconut milk. I've never used this before, but I was going to make butternut squash soup. And then you can put some in that, I guess. I got corn. Um, I like to keep a bag of corn in the freezer, and then obviously for this recipe with the chicken, I already have it. I have, uh, I like to keep mixed vegetables because it's just an easy, you know, vegetable to have. I love these little bar chopped salad kits. You can get these at BJ's as well. So this is the bacon avocado ranch. I really like it. Great for lunch with tuna. So I got some prosciutto and some deli selection gourmet pepper salami hot cup. Papa Cola and hot calgary and we'll do a um and a fondue so I think tomorrow night for supper we're just gonna have a car cherry board that I don't know how to pronounce and we'll do that and some this and some crackers um and bread to dip maybe some pretzels can't forget some roses for myself and I got white this week because they look the best um penny rigatti I'm gonna make a pasta night Wednesday it's going to be um, this and um, what else does it go? Um, I forgot the recipe, but it, it's like a, oh, lemon. So that's why I bought some lemons. They're over here somewhere. Where are my lemons? Hmm. I must have already put them in the fridge. Lemon and ricotta cheese and Parmesan cheese to, cheese to make a sauce. And then you put it over the penne. So that's going to be for Wednesday. Small thing, a six-pack of Diet Coke. We're not, we used to be huge Diet Coke drinkers, but now we don't anymore. So it's kind of almost like a little treat just to have it. I got one cucumber because I knew we had um, a tzatziki dip in the refrigerator. So we'll have that with this tomorrow and have that. Um, got one of these pasta salads because it's always good to have these to the side. Cut green beans. I saw this was kind of out of the... Not where it's supposed to be, but it's a sweet potato blend. So that might be good just to have and, you know, take for lunch, to be honest. I picked up some pears because I'm going to make an apple pear crisp tomorrow. And then I got Grace some chicken nuggets. These are really good. And she's been doing really good eating. And the chicken nuggets she likes. This bueno. I don't know. Just got it. And a thing of blueberries. So, yes, I was totally all over my $60. I put $60 in my grocery fund this week. But my bill came to 71. We did get a big pumpkin. They have great pumpkins there. $2.99 for like a really huge pumpkin. So, you know, decorative for outside. $71. We still need to get half and half and then yogurt. So I'm gonna put another $10 in the grocery budget and then we'll just, you know, not do it next week. So thanks for watching everybody. Happy weekend.